Hi everyone, welcome to our video tutorial. Recall that in the last tutorial we looked at how we can find the squares of numbers using mathematical tables. Today we are going to look at how we can find square roots of numbers using this mathematical table. So we are going to look at this four figure elementary mathematical table and we are going to straight away look at where we have square roots of numbers. So as you can see here, this is square roots of numbers and these numbers lie between 1 and 10. Meaning this is the range between 1 and 9.9 .9 because this is less than so it's not actually 10, it's 9.9. .9. And then again, we are going to notice that we can get the square root of number which lie between 10 and 99.99. .9. So that is again slightly less than 100. So those are numbers that are lying in this range we can also get. But why do you think while we were finding squares, we only had one range, but when we are finding square roots, we are getting to have different range, the range of 10 to 100 and that of between 1 to 10. So let us straight away start by doing the first example and we want to get the square root of 0 0.03456. So we can write this number into standard form and from the table that I've just shown you, we can either put it in the range of between 1 to 10 and or between 10 to 100. So let's have those two in place, then we shall look at which one in particular we are going to use. So when we put it in the first range, the range between 1 to 10, so we are going to have this 0 moves here once, twice, so we have 3.5. 4, 5, 6 times 10 to the power of, because it is moving from left to right, our power is going to be a negative. So it has moved two steps. It has moved two steps. So we have 10 to the power negative 2. Again, when we try to put it in that range between 10 to 100, we can bring the decimal point in between 4 and 5 so that we have it move here. 1, 2, 3, so we have 34.56 times 10. It has moved 3 times. So when we looked at the square root tables, we realized that this range we can as well get their square roots. This range we can as well get their square root. But which one is the best to settle with among these two? If we can call this Roman 1 and we can call this Roman 2. Roman 1 could be the best to settle with by the fact that we can easily predict the square root of 10 raised to power negative 2 just because the power the index here is an even number because for example if you have 100 is just 10 to power 2 the square root of 100 is 10 but the square root of something like 10 1000 for instance we cannot easily get and that is why we are going to disregard this. We are going to do away with this and settle with this. So remember that when you are getting square roots, ensure that the power of 10 is an even power. That power is even. And therefore, we are going to settle on this. So how do we get the square root of 3.456 from the table? We come to, we come to tables of square roots. Then we look at 3.456, so we have 3.4, so we come and look at 3.4, then 5, we have 5 here, where does it coincide, it coincides at 8574. It coincides at 8574. 
but remember that the leading value remember that the leading value is one here this is the leading value so these are just the decimal the numbers that comes after the decimal so we are going to have 1.8574 so we are going to have 1.8 Five seven four. Then that is just three point four five, but we wanted three point four five six. We wanted to get the square of three point four five six. So we look at where six lies. So the value that coincides at that particular point is 16 and the condition here is that we add so we are going to add 16 so we are going to add 6 so that 16 as i've been telling you we add it as a decimal so these are just zeros so by so doing this becomes 0 9 5 8 1 so this is 1.8590 so that is actually the square root of 3.456. How about the square root of 10 raised to power negative 2? So 10 raised to power negative 2 can as well be written as 1 over 10 squared. This can further be written as 1 over 100. So we can easily get the square root of this number. The square root of 1 is 1. The square root of 100 is 10. So we have gotten the square root of this, we have gotten the square root of this, and therefore we multiply the two, this together with that. So we have 1.8590 multiplied by 1 over 10. And this is just the same as 1.8590 all over 10, which gives us 0 0.1859.